channel showing you how to sign in to Scratch and what you're going to need to do to get started. Click Help at the top of the screen and then click Try Out the Step-by-Step -step Demo. Next, that you're going to start going through these screens, drag out the blocks that it tells you, and then click on the arrow in the bottom right corner to advance to the next screen. You'll double tap your stack or your blocks and that will actually run those blocks and you're going to be actually moving back and forth and playing two different instruments on the first three screens. When you go to the fourth one, you go to control and you're going to put the repeat block out, so it's going to repeat that ten times, and then you're going to learn how to do the say block, which is under looks, and you're going to type in an appropriate statement or phrase that you'd like it to say before it dances, and then you'll click to go on to number six. This is the events, and you're going to put when the green flag is clicked, so you'll introduce how that can start your scratch program, and then you're going to go back to looks and drag in change color effect, and so now your cat is going to actually change color after it talks and as it starts to dance. When you go to slide uh, number eight, you're going to see that you can drag your blocks off, and instead of the green flag, you can use a key that's actually under events, and so a space bar or a right arrow or something else can be used to make your scripts begin. Next, when you go to number nine, you're going to click on the stage and you're going to click the icon that lets you import a background. There's a lot of different backgrounds that you can use and once you find one that you like, select it, click OK, and it's going to import into the background. Once it imports, you can move your sprite around and now you're going to learn on number 10 how to import a new sprite. And so there's a lot of choices here. You can go ahead and select one that you want. Instead of the bat, I think we're going to choose the shark. And once you select the one you want and click OK, it imports as another sprite in your project. You can move it where it wants. And now on number 11, you're going to have it, when the green flag is clicked, do a forever loop where it's changing its costume and it's going to wait one second. Now the other thing that we needed to do is to go back to our cat. So we'll click on that sprite. And instead of when the uh, button is clicked, we'll say when the arrow or the green flag is. So now when the green flag is clicked, both of those start to move and do their thing. Last thing you're going to do is you're going to put a title on yours. If you're using the shared class account, make sure you put your teacher's name as well as your name and the name of your project. Then you're going to click the button in the upper right corner to share, and then that project is going to be shared and viewable by other people. So in addition, we'll just kind of click through the screens here. Um, you can see that at the very top of the screen, upper left corner, there's a button that says Scratch and you can click on Try Other Starter Projects. That gets you to the home page. So after you do that introductory project, you can select any of the starter projects, and what you're going to want to do is click See Inside and then Remix, and that'll make a copy that you can change and edit and make it your own unique project.